Hi, I'm Craig Latimer, your Supervisor of Elections, and today I'm going to take you behind the scenes to learn more about Vote by Mail, the most convenient way to vote. The process starts right here with this professional inserter. We put your ballot, your secrecy sleeve with instructions, the return envelope with postage prepaid, and of course, your I Voted sticker. This state-of-the-art piece of equipment also addresses the outside of the envelope, prints a barcode on the return envelope, and weighs each envelope to a fraction of an ounce to make sure nothing's been left out. This thing goes really fast. We're capable of assembling about 5,000 vote-by-mail ballots an hour. And that includes another quality control measure. The machine randomly feeds one of every 100 envelopes into this bin so we can check them by hand. The next step to the process is the sorter. We sort all the envelopes by zip code so that we can get a postal discount. When we're mailing out hundreds of thousands of ballots, that discount can be a huge saving to our taxpayers. In a countywide election, we can expect to spend about 10 days preparing our first batch of vote-by-mail ballots for mailing, and the law requires us to mail them out starting about a month before election day. When a request comes in, someone from our voter services team checks to make sure the voter's eligible and hasn't voted yet, and logs the request into the voter's record. Then within 48 hours of processing the request, the ballot will be in the mail. If you find yourself wondering where your ballot is, you can visit VoteHillsburg.org and track your ballot to see whether we've mailed it. Or give us a call. We want you to have plenty of time to fill out your ballot. One of the nice things about voting by mail is that you can take your time at home to make your voting decisions. If you make a mistake, contact our office and request a new ballot. And when you finish voting, you can put it in the envelope, sign it, and then just drop it in the mail because we've already prepaid the postage. Or if you'd rather drop your ballot off in person, you can drop it in a secure ballot box at any of our four offices when they're open or any of the early vote sites during early voting hours. We're back at the sorter now to see what happens to your return ballot. You remember when you signed the envelope you put your ballot in? That's very important. The sorter has a camera that takes a picture of your signature as the envelope moves through the machine and a barcode reader to sort your ballot based on your voting precinct. A trained staff member compares the signature on the envelope to the signature we have on file for you and records that your ballot has been received. Okay, but maybe you forgot to sign the envelope or you rushed through your signature and it doesn't look like what we have on file. That's not a problem because we're going to send you a letter and instructions so you'll be able to verify that that was in fact your ballot. And if you're home wondering whether we've received your ballot, just go back to our website, VoteHillsburg.org, and you can track your ballot to see if it's been received. Now let's look at how we tabulate vote-by-mail ballots. Florida State statute allows us 15 days to begin opening and tabulating the ballots before an election. We have a very deliberate and organized process to do that. It starts with a clean, secure workspace, supervised by several managers and under camera surveillance. All personal items are stored away from the area in lockers, and only red pens are on the desk. We work with 50 envelopes at a time. First, we separate the outer envelope, which has your name on it, from what's inside. Then the envelopes are removed from the table. We then take the ballot out of the secrecy sleeve. This is how your secret ballot stays secret, and now the ballots are ready to be scanned. It's important to note that these ballots are counted and tracked every step of the way to make sure that no ballot is misplaced or double counted. After the ballots go through our high-speed scanners, the vote tabulations are stored and on election night, they are the first results to be uploaded and reported. We're not quite at the end of the story yet. Remember all those paper ballots? They're stored according to their precinct because after every election, we do a manual audit and hand count the votes in randomly selected precincts to confirm the accuracy of our scanners. So what are you waiting for? If you haven't already requested your vote by mail ballot, go to our website and make your request. And then after you fill out your ballot and mail it back, wear your I voted by mail sticker so all your friends and neighbors know that you voted.